Good morning friends, myself Sumit Lowda again then from Lovelet Load Haza and in this tutorial we will learn how to register as a taxpayer on Trace's website as we all are aware that while downloading your form 26AS or to issue form 16B that is the TDS certificate for deduction of TDS on purchase of immovable property you need to have one Trace's website login. Uh, Form 26 alternatively can be downloaded through income tax website or your uh, your online banking account. But uh, if you wish to download traces uh, the serious certificate in Form 16B, then you need to have one login at traces website. So here we go. Let's see how to do this. We are on to the Google and type TDS traces, and this will give you the first link. That is www.tdscpc.gov.in. Click on this link and registered as a new user click on tax pair here we go here we go here one need to type his pan number then the date of birth and last name that is surname and the first name the surname option is compulsory fill if you even if you don't fill the first name is okay but you have to fill the surname option that is the compulsory fill these three fills are compulsory your pan number your date of birth as available in the income tax records and the, your surname moving ahead to the two options there that is either of you have two options you need to fill it to go ahead here the first option is the TDS deducted against your PAN if any TDS is deducted against your PAN by your tax deductor either your banker or your employer then you need to fill in that detail only one month detail is compulsory any month you take that or uh, you just uh, select the year I select the month and type the amount. How will you get this amount if you are a salaried employee? Then your employer might have deducted TDS on your salary. Then just type your TAN, which will be available in your either in your form 26 AS any any year. You just uh, go ahead and take the output of form 26 AS. Otherwise, if you don't have the 20, 26 AS, and don't worry, you might be having form 16 A. Or form 16, form 16 in case of employer, employer, then uh, just go ahead and see your form 16. You will find the tan of your deductor there. Then the type of deduction you drop down, select TDS salary. Then the month here, the you, on second uh, page you will find the tax detail. Every month there will be uh, some tax detail. Just take one uh, any any one month. Like uh, in my case, I have taken April, and then the year 2012. And the TDS TCS amount. In the last column, you will find the TDS amount deducted by the employer and deposited on that particular month. Uh, that amount you need to type here and be sure you type this amount up to two decimal places. Even if there is no uh, fraction, you just type dot zero zero. Okay. The, this is the first option, and second option is option two available with you. The, if you don't have all this crap. Uh, like uh, nobody has deducted TDS on your salary or your interest or any payment then just skip this and uh, come to option 2. Option 2 is assessment year. You uh, Again you need to select one assessment year and in that assessment year whatever taxes you have paid like uh, uh, you have paid some self assessment tax, you have paid advanced taxes, any taxes which you have paid you can just uh, go ahead and select the assessment year. The challenge serial number is a 5 digit number which is available uh, by when you make the payment okay of uh, taxes so this is also available in form 26 as if, it is, uh, if you don't have the form 26 as then you just go to uh, the challenge whatever challenge chal you have paid you uh, see that income tax return of that year and take that uh, challenge number out and fill the fill in the amount again the amount to be filled with two decimal places Moving ahead to verification code, you need to put this verification code to prove you are not a robot. We can proceed. Here again, this is the communication details you need to fill in. I have filled in my all details and communication details with the phone numbers and all email ID. And click on next. Once you will do that, it will ask for the password. Its user ID will always be your PAN number. Password you need to create. You click on this uh, question mark option. So it will provide you the what are the rules and regulations for setting the password. One rule is there should be one letter in capital letter and there should be some special characters. But special characters are 
like and and uh, these two or uh, these two or three options are available only uh, that is that means uh, at the rate is not available as a special character if you are uh, making this password i have i have started with the at the rate then i have gone through this uh, notification that at the rate is not allowed so you take one cap to capital letter and uh, then you take some special character like and etc and then you take alphanumeric number minimum should be eight characters and maximum should be 13 characters okay you type your password you set your password confirm your password and uh, select one security question and click uh, the give your answer click on create account okay it's now it's saying it's uh, very strong click on create account Again, now we can say all of these details have been fetched by the system, like uh, my type of user, tax path, PAN number, date of birth, my communication address, communication mobile number, and click on confirm. Yeah, the registration request successfully submitted, and one activation link and the codes will be sent to your email address along with your mobile number. So you need to have both the number to activate your account. So. Let's see how to activate this particular account. This is my email ID. I just put, I entered into this login into this uh, email ID. Here is my activation code sent by the traces. And one activation code came to through SMS on my mobile number. Both I need to put uh, over here and click on submit. Here I have created activation, activation successful. Now I can go ahead and log in to Tracer's website. I have put all the details. Click on login. Yes, I am into the uh, Tracer's login. Here you can see I am already into my login account. Here is my details, my PAN number and all. So here I can view Form 26 AS. I can change my profile. I can go to downloads and download Form 16B as a um, buyer of a property. So thank you very much. Hopefully you. I like this tutorial and if you like our mission then just come on and click on the subscribe button coming on to this video and if you have any queries relating to TDS or income tax then you can just come go ahead and come to our Facebook page that's www.facebook.com slash learn with Lodas or either way you can go to our another initiative that's www.facebook.com slash filing TDS return online there will I will solve all the queries leading to TDS and TDS system filing. So thank you very much. Uh, until next time, me Sumit Flora signing off for the day. Thank you very much.